Cool. So um, the so the yeah the scene is going to open up um with the with the um the group with the group of people on screen with um the captain tied up in the chair and they have literally just said stay back or we will kill him. Um the the uh Andorian captain has visible bruises and cuts to his head and face. And he's tied up in in a chair. This is Commander Israel Prax of the Federation Starship Monarch. Uh, please state your intentions. I'm warning you, Commander. Stay back, or we will kill him. You do realize that you have captured a Starfleet officer, a captain, no doubt. And he just kind of looks at his uniform. Yes, we are aware of that. Out of character, uh, what does uh, their uniforms look like? Uh, just civilian clothing. Can I make a insight check to sort of gauge his uh, emotional status in a way? Like, is he... Does he appear to be nervous or um, unsure? Uh, go ahead and give me reason command in reason or insight command. Um, let's go difficulty two. Uh, composure for a focus. Kind of a stretch. Uh, I don't. I don't think so. Okay. Uh, take a threat. Ooh, I like threat. Let me get my threat tokens out. All right, you have succeeded at the task. Um. You're not getting any sense of nervousness from him, just from looking at him. Um, but he does seem annoyed. Annoyed, maybe a little impatient. I'm sorry, we got off sort of a, I guess, a bad start here. Um, what is your name? My name is not important. What is important is what we want. And what do you want? We want the ship. If you want your captain back alive, this is what I want you to do. I want all of the crew members aboard your ships your ship to leave in escape pods where we will then take over the ship. You do understand that Starfleet has a policy of not negotiating with terrorists. Now, I'm going to give you an option here. You can hand back over the captain, and you did damage Starfleet property, and if you turn yourselves over, I will be more than lenient to see about putting a good word to lessen the charges that will be levied against you. From where I sit, Commander, we have all the power in this negotiation. You do want your captain back, do you not? Uh, and she stands up, heads towards the uh, operations, and kind of goes over and uh, leans in and slightly uh, presses on the uh, comm channel button 
and out of character, what she's trying to do is sort of disrupt the uh, communications to make it seem like they're going in and out. Do I need to make a roll for that? Yeah, let's go ahead and and do a. Um, it's probably be a control engineering, um, assisted by the ship's um, communications engineering. Right? Is that right? I think that's right. And then it'll, it'll just be a difficulty one. Okay. Would anyone just like need... to roll for the ship? <coughs> uh, I can. And what was it for the ship again? Uh, it would be communications and engineering. So it'll be uh, one dice on the roller, and the ship is considered to always have a focus. So for the ship, um, yes is always selected for the focus. Awesome. All right, you guys have three momentum. And while that's going, it's like, it's like, I understand. And as it starts to be like, we, we seem to be having a, a slight malfunction here. I, can you give us a moment to correct it, please? Just h hang on. And then as the, she cuts the communication, she looks at the rest of the crew. Options. They must know um, that taking this ship is impossible and that we would never agree to that. If we need to buy more time, we should offer them a compromise. I would suggest a smaller craft, one that's more efficient than the one they have. Perhaps the captain's yacht? I'm not suggesting we give it over, but we could work out what their motives are and what they really want. Unfortunately, this ship's not equipped with the <coughs> captain's yacht. He raises an eyebrow at that. Uh, what kind of ship are they currently on? It's like a old civilian freighter that's been armed. That's that has a few weapon modifications to it. Gotcha. Um, sir, I, if sussing out exactly what their intentions are with the captain um, isn't possible, I say we threaten. Um, they don't seem. Like, they want to lose their lives today. They seem like they have a mission. And potentially threatening them would cause them to, to back down and making it very clear to them that they won't accomplish whatever mission they have in a broken, uh, exploded ship might make some headway with them. I tend to agree. Um, perhaps a well-placed warning shot would be... Also, is there any way that we could use uh, transporters to either send uh, something, some some party onto their ship, or to retrieve people from their ship? Another good suggestion. The only, if we do take the my only concern is if we take a course of action that leads to violence that's going to endanger the captain. Um, potentially get him killed um, the minute we open fire. Uh, Commander, long-range sensors are picking up three ships of the same variety we are encountering now. They're one light year away and on an intercept course with... So they're waiting for backup. I believe we're at red alert when we last left off. If I remember correctly. We can give you a little red alert caxlon going. Just try not to annoy everybody with it. Hmm. <laughs> How many people is aboard that ship? Any other know? thoughts? So. Um, 
We're assuming it's uh, the same terrorist that you dealt with back on Earth, Commander. Uh, the faction known as Terra Nova. Hmm. Well, it's clear then they're stalling for time, and that's their ultimate objective. Something still doesn't sit right. Even three civilian ships is unlikely to be a match for us. Would we be able to uh, disable their shield somehow and then immediately land a security team on That might land a security team might be too risky, but if we does it get... We I can have that to, too. I specialize have... in this. My concern is though for the captain's safety. Um... We only get one shot, but we could... Lieutenant uh, Amox, do you think if we drop their shields um, uh, quickly that you'll be able to transport the captain? Yeah, I think it's worth a shot. I'd like to uh, go ahead and, I guess, roll to... I uh, use uh, something to disable their shields, or can we like sense uh, maybe like detect? Can we de can we do like some kind of sensor to like detect uh, like a vulnerability or something to to lower their shields if we like maybe fire on them or something like that? I don't know. Yeah, I think Shit, sirens. Um, oh, sorry. I was going to say, I should be able to scan for vulnerabilities uh, to see if we detect anything. Commander, uh, the approaching ships are just about to enter combat or enter combat range. Any actions we are going to do, we'll have to do. So Lieutenant uh, de Ross, uh, scan for weakness. Aye, aye, sir. And we, I guess we're and... heading into Starship Combat. Oh, looks like it. And how do I scan for weaknesses? Sorry, I'm getting something set up, sorry. Oh, no worries. You do um, scan for weakness. Where are you? Scan for weakness. Um, so scan for, yep, scan for weakness is a control science task assisted by the ship sensor science. Um, and then it's a plus one diff, uh, base difficulty is one, um, plus one difficulty for each range beyond close. Um, and then until your next turn, the ship would gain piercing two. Okay. Against one attack. Uh, yeah. What's that? It's only good for one attack, though. If I remember correctly. Yeah, the next attack. Yep, you are right. Yep. So, do we want to enter combat? Yes. Okay. Uh, so, I have a focus in sensor operations. Uh, so, yep. I'm assuming that applies. Cool. And he said difficulty one, so let's just do this. Um, so um, it's actually going to be a little bit higher. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, we'll probably make it a difficulty two because it'll I'll probably put it at medium range for the closest ship. So, yes, you will succeed. Awesome. Um, and then we just need ship systems, uh, sensor security. Uh, I can do that too. Oh, uh, we have advanced sensors, by the way, so it goes down in one difficulty. All right. Yes. So you guys will actually bank two momentum out of this. So you guys are at five momentum. Um, <coughs> I'm assuming uh, with the turn would pass to them. 
Uh, assuming we're like in normal combat, ship, starship combat roles at this point. Yeah, hold on. Let me go ahead and move you to the star field. So I do not have ship tokens for them. So the little people are their ships. Um, the three that are kind of outside are at, um, we'll call that long range right now. Um, this one here is at close is at medium range, and this one here has the captain. So yeah, I it's... would I would like to spend two momentum to keep the initiative. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and go. I am going to direct um, an order, uh, Lieutenant Casey. Um, I want you to fire and target their. Target their engines. Engines, all right. Uh, with phasers, I assume. Yes, because we're in medium range. All right. So, um, so if if you're targeting a system, it's going to be at a plus one difficulty. So to hit the the engines, it is going to be a difficulty three task. Um, it's going to be control security. Assisted by the ship's weapons security. Okay. Um, if you have any any focuses like uh, shipboard tactical systems or anything like that, that would those would apply. And in fact, you do have shipboard weapon systems. There you so, go. Uh, real quick, um, for this role, um, you do want. We probably want to give him. Uh, we need to kind of save the momentum for the shot, so you probably want to give him like three threat to roll um, four dice, or yeah, uh, probably best to save your determination right now. But okay. Wait, so uh, I I'm using four dice on this roll. <coughs> yeah, if you would like to give me um, threat to buy dice. Um, you would give me three threat, and then you could roll four dice. I see. And I, I also, I have a uh, focus in shipboard weapons system. Does that reduce the difficulty, or does it give me it, more dice? I can... No, it, so um, it increases your critical hit chance. Ah, uh, I see. So, so like a numbers of one through, I think, five in your case, um, those would count as two successes. Uh, so I'll I, I'll generate threat then to roll four dice. Okay. And then make sure you select focus used on the on the sheet. Uh, where do I select that? It's a uh, so on the the dice roller it'll say focus used to yes oh, or see. no. I'm done. Yeah, I see now. <laughs> yep. There you go. <laughs> Okay, and then the ship it was... Um, uh, weapon security. Weapon security. So right now you have enough successes. It is just a case of if you generate any more momentum. You also have both security, so you can reroll one of the zeros. Okay. And then since this is a direct... Um, it's a, it's a command, uh, command control, or is it presence? I don't remember. Ooh. Wait, so... Uh, I'll just roll one more to re-roll that uh, fail, right? Or the yeah. Yes. Okay, and then the ship. Uh, did I buy any more dice for the ship, or was that just for um, the the my... ship uh, gets to assist um, basically automatically because it's using its weapons. So um, it's just um, whoever has the ship sheet that's rolling the ship. I'll, I'll roll it real quick. It's fine. Uh, we'll just select weapon security like that to see if it get generates any successes on its own so you guys are actually at six momentum at the moment um oh i need to me... roll for me for the because that'll be yep. a bonus momentum i'm just double checking the stats for that um actually it's there's not really an assist i to direct it... i did a direct yeah yeah, it's not an assist though. You just select an officer, and they 
and they um, attempt a single task. Oh, wait, using the command skill. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe if I read the whole thing. <laughs> uh, so it would be command and uh, probably presence. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, strategy and tactics. Yep. Let me know if the red alert noise is annoying anyone. <clears throat> and then uh, for the phaser damage, because um, we bought three dice, um, we get to roll three extra challenge dice on the ship sheet. Uh, two extra challenge dice. Oh. One, one for each dice bought. That's right, yeah. Two. My bad. And then it gains piercing. And so, well, that's a lot of twos. Two, four, six. And that's piercing seven, six. Nine, 12, uh, nine, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16. Wait, no, that's piercing. What am I doing? I'm thinking vicious for some reason. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13. And um, the effects are definitely going to get through their their um, resistance. Okay. <clears throat> so you are doing 13 points of damage at the moment, which is enough for one breach, two breaches on their engines. So their engines are effectively... Do -do -do. CL3 are damaged. Okay. Um... So the one floating momentum from this roll, um, I want to go into uh, power drain. So it's okay. one power loss. And then the ver two versatile uh, also goes into power loss. Okay. And that just takes away one power if I'm remembering. Yeah, correctly. each momentum spend is one power. So it's technically a total of three power with the one floating and then the two versatile. Um, since we also damaged their ship engines, um, that is also, uh, should be, I believe, to uh, instant power loss there. Um, uh, so it loses power at the end of every round. You no, know, but it's the first impact. The ship loses two power immediately. And then it starts yep, losing power every round. Yep, it does. You are correct. Yeah. Little rusty on the uh, space combat myself. <clears throat> um, but I want to, since it is technically still my turn, I want to spend... Uh, my question is, there was two breaches, right? Yes. To the engines? Okay. Yep. I want to spend uh, two momentum to do a swift task. And I'm sorry, Omox, but this is going to make your job more difficult. I am going, since I have crisis management, I can do two directs per scene. So so it does have to pass to them um, because you already um, already kept the advantage once. No, I'm doing a swift task. I, I know, but it still has to pass to them, even with that, because you already... You you um already kept the momentum. You can't keep it a third time before it goes back to them. Uh, but it's it's still my go. Like I'm doing a. S okay. Oh, for um, you to do another for you to yeah, do another. Yeah, I'm doing another okay, direct. Gotcha. Like gotcha. right back. Like it's a plus one difficulty increase to do this. So when I do the order, it's gonna make his task harder. And uh, well, you and the other thing is you can only use direct once per scene. I have, I have crisis management, which gives, which gives me an extra direct task. Perfect. Perfect during the scene. So. Yep. Perfect. 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 Lieutenant <laughs> Almox, uh, beam the captain aboard, and then uh, you're gonna have to spend a momentum to do a minor to lower the ship shields. Okay. Um. So. Uh, I need to do that first. Lower the shield, so I'd I'd 
don't know. I had the internal systems transporters looked up, but I didn't have that the anything for the shield. Um, so, so it's not a task to lower the shields. Okay. It's just using your it's using your turns minor action to okay. lower the shields. Oh, okay. Okay. So, um, I guess how do I do that? Um, I'm, I've looked up the transporters, so I know I need to nominate the target. So I say, uh, you know, I'm going to transport the captain aboard our ship uh and then i need to do a control engineering task right yes okay and that is going to be um this is a control engineering task it is okay. going to be a difficult base difficulty of two um but because the captain is not on a pad it's going to be increased to three but it's assisted by the ship's sensors and engineering, which is going to reduce the difficulty back to two. And that's on the is that that's on the complication, right? Uh, no. Um, I can't well, remember. Yeah. So when when I say um, difficulty is just the number of successes. Uh, okay. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So um, uh, so unless I increase the complication range for some reason, um, okay. it's generally always at one. One. Okay. So um, it should be also one higher because it is. Um, a swift task, so it's a plus one difficulty. Oh, yep, you're right. So yeah, so it will be difficulty three at the end. Thank you, Brax. Uh, yeah, I'm hurting my own players. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I have control engineering, and then for the um, determination threat or momentum, do I need to do anything there, or for the stress? Or just go ahead and roll. Um, we have three momentum that you can spend to get by extra dice. Um, did you take bold engineering? Um, I have, uh, <coughs> no, I've got, uh, let's see, Rockstar Replicators in the Nick of Time, Miracle Worker. Right, no, uh, it's okay. Yeah. So, okay. uh, yeah, you can spend all three and roll four dice if you want. Okay, is that what you, is that what you'd like me to do? Okay, so, so, uh, before we roll into dice, because I got some threat I have. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and increase the complication range to two. Okay. So like, so now you would put complication range to two and I'm going to spend two more. Um, no, no, I'll just increase the complication range. No, no, I don't. I'm going to spend two more threat. Let's, let's increase that complication range to three. Cause I think this will be funny if it happened. So yeah, we'll we'll do a difficulty three, difficulty three task. Complication range is three. Okay. And then I'm gonna do three momentum. So um, let's keep one momentum just in case. So give him. Okay. Spend two momentum two. and give him two. one threat. Okay. You can still roll four dice that way. Okay. So do I click threat on here, right? No, you no, you don't okay. have to worry about threat. Like okay. I'm, I, I keep track okay. of threat and momentum with chips. Okay. So. Okay, got it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and roll. And I. I think uh, you're you missing rolled... two dice. Yeah. What's up now? Uh, you were supposed to roll a couple more dice. Oh, uh, and the whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, wait, how do I roll more dice? Um, so really just hit hit the task roll again at, at two dice. Okay. You just forgot okay. to set it to four. Perfect. Um, and Prax, I think you might have forgot to move the ship's complication range because it did roll a 19. I did indeed. So we have a fun complication. Um, that's four successes. So it is. Uh, well, also my presence command makes it five, because it is a direct. Yep. yep. So you'll get two momentum out of that. And then uh, we'll just take that two momentum and kill the complication. Okay. And. I like to spend that extra last momentum we have for an extra minor action to raise the shields again. Okay. One moment. Where's my... 
Aha. There was the beam. Uh, you have your minor action. Okay. Um, so, do I? It, that was that was for lowering the shields, though, right? Um. So, so Praxum is is uh, spending another uh, momentum to give you a second minor action. Yeah, okay. We uh, spent an extra momentum to gain another minor action. So, which means you could put up the shields. Okay. Um. Oh, I guess I'll go ahead and do that then. Put up the shields. All right. And I am going to spend four threat. Transporter room. The commander Prax. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> Sir, the captain's been shot. Activate the uh, EMH. Have him treat his injuries and then move him to sick bay. Very good. Transporter room out. And now it will pass to their turn. So uh, this ship here is um, badly damaged. They are at zero shields. Their engines are barely moving them along. Um, this ship here is actually going to move into cl into uh, medium range. And then it will pass back to you guys. Um, so yeah, um, I believe everyone can go but me and DeGrasse. So, uh, yeah, um, Casey can go, and then also, okay. uh, Saru can go. I wasn't sure what order we were in. Uh, do I just, uh, are the other ships in phaser range? Uh, so right now only two ships are in phaser range. It's this one here and this one here. Uh, the uh, one, this one is at no shields. And it has two breaches to its engines. This one is at full shields. <clears throat> uh, well, the, the other two at, at behind the ship are at long range. So, uh, I, the one with no engines is basically disabled, I'm assuming. I don't know how much damage it could do to us. Should I focus fire on uh, the other ship? So, just fire at the new one that has entered range. Um kind of do what you did before in a way okay um target their engines uh you might want to go for i would say probably not not in this time um the reason why we targeted the engines that last time was to essentially make sure that they didn't have enough power to do anything Right. Um, and, and try to get like my mindset was try to get their shields down as quickly as possible, either through power loss or just through raw damage, um, and kind of cripple them in a way. Okay, um, so I'll just fire in general. Yeah. Uh, well, you do need to state because we do have phaser rays. Um, what I probably recommend is to do uh, spread on this one. Okay. Uh, so what is the difference with the spread? Um, essentially, so, spread does an extra attack at half damage. So right. if you so from the book, if you if you if you roll one or more effect on damage, um, the attack of in, the attack of inflicts one additional hit to a random system, um, and it deals half damage of the initial hit, rounding up for every effect rolled after. after 
Yeah, basically it just does a half damage to the to another system. I see. Uh, so I'll roll a spread then, and uh, should I just use my standard two die? Um, probably want to build momentum because we're out. Um, so you might have to give them like, um, and you also I think yeah, bold security. So you probably want to spend at least one, give them one threat. Um, for an so that way you get the free reroll in case you don't. Right. Roll so well. I'll generate the one threat then and roll three dice. Yep, and then the the attack is always assisted by weapons and security of the ship. So right, <coughs> you also have that dice. You <laughs> ship's yep. not helping today. Uh, so it I'll I'll re-roll helping. my uh, one. Uh... All right, you Perfect. guys do you do get so... a momentum. Take two threat to kill the complication. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And is there uh, anything else I'm supposed to do or should do? I just rolled the phaser damage. Um, so right now it's at right now it is at four. So. Both versatile goes in for damage. Piercing. Um. So. So. Um. Just so you guys are are aware how damage kind of works. So he's rolling the challenge dice that's equal to the to the ship's uh, scale, um, scale and security. And then um, the any so we just basically count the challenge dice here. So it's so um you know the twos are twos, the ones are one, and all these little Star Trek symbols are effects. They generally only count as one, but they might have. A special value attached to it. Um, in this case, because the effect was rolled, it does um, activate spread. Um, but this damage is reduced by the resistance of the ship. So the ship has a resistance of three. So right now, the damage that is being done to the ship before anything else is at four. And generally, five damage is a breach to a system. If that makes sense. Um, but yeah, we also mm. have the versatile two, which means we get essentially two momentum, free two momentum, momentum spends to do extra damage, um, penetration or, um, spread or well, sorry, devastating and then something else powered loss. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that table is on, on page 232. If you guys have the book candy. Nice. Hmm. Like I said, you guys um, are definitely getting the crash course in space combat today. Yeah. So, um, I was gonna say like both the versatiles go into piercing, and then we <coughs> do have a one momentum we can use to reroll those three. Essentially, it's just to try to maximize the spread damage to for the reroll. Wait, sorry, I uh, didn't catch what you said. So we can spend the one momentum to re-roll the three dice. And then the, right. the, our versatile, we put that both into penetration, which ignores two resistance for each point spent. So we would ignore four resistance with the versatile of, with our two <laughs> versatile. I see. So unless there's any objections, I, I say we spend the momentum to reroll those mm -hmm. three. I'm good with that. Yeah, I agree. Yep. So that's an extra five. Yep. So right now, um, the da the damage of the initial attack is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The initial tax damage is 12. Okay. Um, and I think the spread is 10. 
counting that right? Well, then it's a plus one for each effect. Two, three. So it's six. Plus five. So the second attack will actually be an 11. I oh, every effect after the first. So it'll be a plus four. So yeah, it'll be 10. <clears throat> So yes, if you are happy with that, with those numbers, we can resolve it. Mm -hmm. I am. Okay. So the first initial blast is actually going to devastate the shields, giving two breaches to a random system. Was the breach table off? Yeah, it works. Okay. Uh, actually, no. no, no apparently, uh, didn't get carried over properly when the game was copied. Oh, so it's so it's busted. Okay. Yeah, I have to fix that. Cool. Uh, anyway, well, in all honesty, it doesn't really matter because the first that's... attack, because the first attack is going to do two breaches, and then the second attack is going to do two breaches. This ship blows up in a nice fiery explosion. And you said we had explosion sounds, right? We, we do. Yes. Is this is this the thing? That's a console explosion. Uh, how's large explosion sound? Yeah, that's good enough. Small explosion? Yeah, they're both pretty good. Cool, but that's what happens in space. <clears throat> awesome. Nice. Alright, nice so uh, the turn passes back to them. Uh, this ship here is actually going to warp away after the explosion of his friend. And then it'll actually pass back to you. <laughs> it's weird how turn works, but then I'm going to get like a bunch of turns after this. Um, see, we're down to eight power. I recommend we actually do a power management real quick. Which that would be Omox. Yes, sir. I'd like to roll to manage our power. And so that's going to be a... Daring or control plus engineering. Hmm. So do I do I pick if it's going to be daring or control or should I is that assigned to me? Uh, one sec, you oh, had sorry. a food had a food snafu. I'm sorry. No, you're you're fine. Not not your fault. Um, so this comes from the opposition. I, I just have to look at it really quick because I forget. Um, so what it says daring or control generally, what I will do is I will let you decide whatever is higher. Okay, mine, mine happened to be the same, so I can pick either one, I guess, for that. Yep. Um, okay, so I'll just do control. And engineering, uh, and then you may drop wanna, the... Say you may want to buy an extra, um, one extra dice by giving him threat. I know it sounds horrible by giving the GM threat, but you never know. It Okay, and then um, the complication for this should be one, correct? Yes. Or two. Okay. Yep, just on. one. And then it, when I <clears throat> when I need the extra dice, do I put that in that little text box there? Is that where I put that? I like um, I fill it out, or where do I do the extra dice? So, um, so when you buy an extra dice, all you're doing is on the dice roller. You see where it says task roll? Yeah. You are just moving it from two to three. Okay. And then, um, so I like see. the the I numbers see, there, okay. yeah, and that, that's basically how many dice you're rolling. So if you okay. put it at four, you're rolling four dice. If you put it at five, you're rolling five. Gotcha. And I apologize. It's because my 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 cheat chart is like all um, offset, so I keep forgetting what it when it. Yep. Is. No okay. no worries, man. Like you guys are getting used to the to the system to how the rolls are. All right. So and then I don't have any extra momentum, right? So I can just go ahead and roll. 
Yep. Okay. And I forgot you guys gave me a threat, right? Yep. And that was a... what? The difficulty was one, right? It's two. Uh, two? Okay. So you guys get an extra momentum. So the, the task is successful, and you are going to get power. Let me pull up that so I can tell you exactly how much power you get. Here we go. Uh, so you will gain one point of power, and then you will gain one point of power momentum spent. We have improved power systems, so that ups it by one additional power. Yep, per momentum, if I remember. Yeah, so you'll gain two, and then you'll get two for each additional, if, if I remember correctly. Yeah. But I don't think we need to spend the momentum, because that puts us back up to ten power. We'll only be down one power. Unless there's a vote, unless you guys think otherwise. I'll be back. I'll be right back. I think that's fine. All right, I'm back. What I miss? Absolutely, Absolutely. nothing. Perfect. <laughs> All right, so uh, you got your full power back, and then the turn is passing. I would assume. Yeah, it's, there we go. All Multiple right, moves, this I guess. this ship. Well, I think uh, is... Tessa or er, sorry. Um, after you go, um, the commander needs to go. All right. Yeah, this ship's just going to try to move, and it's just going to move into long range. And it'll pass back to you. I you're the last one left. Okay. She'll look over to the active captain, she'll say, um, I would suggest we hail them. Logically speaking, they know they can't win. It doesn't look as though they want to die. And she will look at the helms person and she will direct a task and tell the helms person to set a pursuit course of the ship that's attempting to hobble away. So you just want the uh, the ship to uh, keep up with them? Chase them down, yeah. <clears throat> right. So I, I don't even think that's a task role because it's just really a maneuver. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the question is, uh, so they're at long range at the moment. How far do you want them to move? Um, I would want to get nice and close to them. Let's be a little bit intimidating. So you want to move up to uh, close? Yeah. You're going to have to impulse to do that. <clears throat> Yeah, it'll just require a power, really. Because it's still a difficulty zero task. Um, I kind of want to activate our supporting character, Helm Officer. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Give him, and... give him some new fun stuff. <laughs> yeah, but also, like, it... Um, help us generate some momentum. Out of this, so... Yep, no, I'm okay with it. Does anyone want to do that? Uh, what does it involve? Yeah, I'm not sure. So, in the supporting character sheets, we have a con officer. Uh, Boston. 
and you just open that character sheet up. Right. And roll a control con. Uh, how many? Just the standard two dice? It's a difficulty zero, so yeah. I believe the ship gets an assist. Yes. <clears throat> Engines con. So you guys are at three? down to nine power and we'll be moving to close range yep uh, so with that um, th is there anyone else on your ship that has to go this turn I believe that's everybody okay so I can do all of their turns at once so this ship here um, seeing the aggressive move you made there is actually going to turn around and warp in the opposite direction out of the fight. <laughs> uh, this ship is actually going to try to take a shot at you. It's probably going to be laughably bad. Um, I'm going to spend three of my threat to get some extra dice here. It's actually not as bad as I thought, even with the increased complication. Oops, that was the wrong stat. I don't think it would have mattered, though. 12. Uh, weapon security. Nope, it wouldn't have made it anyway. Cool. So that is 6. Uh, they got versatile 2. I'm going to throw both in the piercing. So does that make it four? Uh, yeah. No, uh, and then I'm, and then I'm gonna spend two threat, right? One threat to make that damage five. Right, because your scale six. Yeah. So piercing takes away two. Shields. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so pier so piercing takes away two each. Two resistance each, so that's minus two. I'm going to spend one threat to increase this to five so that I can give you guys a breach somewhere. Just because I want to. Uh, let me get a d20, so I'll just roll this properly. Doop. Uh, they're actually going to hit your weapons, so your weapons will take a breach. Okay. And it's actually I not think... that bad, really. But yeah, it's actually not... <laughs> Um, and I think they actually have one more move that I think they are going to attempt. Do, do, do. Oh, where was it? Here it is. So this would be control engineering. Difficulty two. Uh, does the ship get to assist with that? Structure engineering. Uh, success, and they get. And they were able to raise their shields. So they got a shot off at on your weapons, and they were able to get back up at around, let's call it thirteen percent. And then um, it will actually um, start a brand new round with the top of your order. Commander Prax, should I do it with a damage control here, Hope? To repair the breach? Would that do anything to um, help so the So with the breach, um, it really is kind of doesn't do anything we just can't use weapons until 
the restore minor action is done, which is it's literally just a minor action. Okay. Got it. Um. kind of want answers so the issue is though we could potentially un you know blow them up with one shot which I really don't want to do so I want to heal them they do respond This is your last chance. Surrender now. It seems that we have underestimated the power of this new ship. He, he nods to one of his persons and the shields go off. Very well. Expect the boarding party. Um, I trust there will be no resistance. I'll tell who I can, but I won't make any promises. And he cuts the transmission. Commander, I want you to prepare a uh, boarding party. Uh, Lieutenant, lock a tractor beam on that vessel. Okay. Understood. So with the tractor beam, the roll's actually the same as the weapon roll. Right, I was just checking. Uh, do, is shipboard weapon system included in, like, is that focus included or no? I'll say it is. Perfect. And then it's assisted by structure weapons this time. Or structure security. Yeah, sorry. Yes, sorry. structure security. I don't know why the hell I said that. Your ship has not been your friend today. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys get one momentum out of it? And the tractor beam engages on the ship without incident. Commander uh, Cyril, I believe you have... Um, a job to do. Sam, so, this gets up out of her seat. Around her bridge. There's... Cassie O marks the grass. You're with me. Understood, Commander. Yes, ma'am. Right away. Yeah, it's over to the turbo lift. To, uh... Go to the transporters. Uh, we don't have a turbo lift sound, do we, anymore? <laughs> no. Ah, we gotta re-add one eventually. <clears throat> uh, cool, yeah. Um, we'll go ahead and throw you guys into entering the uh, transporter. Transporter rooms. Um, real quick, um, Prax, one, um, she's going to call down to uh, sickbay. Sickbay uh, here. Dr. Dr. Anderson, what was the status of Captain um, Zavos? It's not looking good, Commander. We'll keep you informed. Understood. Prax out. All right, so if you guys are ready to do the beaming. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, Let's do would, it. Who would like the roll? Or um, who's, who's making the roll is the question. I guess I can since it's a it's a transporter. Um, and then who's transporting yeah. over? Uh, I assume myself. Uh, I believe myself as well. Degrass. 
Yeah, I definitely want all three of them with me. Um, if need be, we could have a, a crewman. There's a crewman, yeah. We, we could have a uh, knight beam you over. We'll just They have transporter focus as well. Awesome. So, that'll put us at crew support too. We have like six crew supports, so. And you can technically... Um, I could play security officer on the away mate on the away team supporting character one. If you want to add another security there, cool. We could bring the the petty officer care. Tishin Shakrith. Don't you mean uh, random red shirt number five? <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> All right. I believe it's uh, the difficulty two role assisted by sensors engineering. Okay, and am I doing that under my character or uh, doing that under... Knight would have to do the transporter role because um, uh -huh. you're going on the away mission, your character. So. Okay, gotcha. I'll just go ahead and roll for her. Then just need the ship. Uh, what was the role? Sensors engineering, is that right? Yep. Ship is not two? helping at all. It mm. hates us so much. God, that was uh, 15 it, too. Yeah, it, it succeeded though because uh, the sensors knocked the difficulty down. Yeah. Okay. So, and it, it's not like a transporter beam is going to fail. It might just like <laughs> put you in a weird spot or not rematerialize you six properly. <laughs> it did add more transporter effects too. Oh yeah, I'll have to look at those. Um, and then at this point, I'm actually going to cut to the next scene. And we'll drop you guys down in momentum. And the next scene will actually materi materialize you guys on the ship. On the, uh, on the ship that you were trying to transport to. Um, I'm going to assume you guys wanted to transport onto the bridge. Yes. Yep. Um, on the bridge, it's you know it's just like a a typical standard Federation style bridge. You know, it's rather small. It is a civilian vessel, so there's you know really like a a comms panel, a place for the captain to sit. Maybe a few consoles along one of the back walls. There might be three. There's probably three people in it. A guy who's the guy that's been on the view screen doing all the talking is sitting in the center chair. The others are at their post. As you guys beat him. Okay. As we materialize, she pulls her phaser. Um, she points it directly at this uh, guy that's been giving out all the orders. Uh, DeGrasse will do the same, um, except he'll point his phaser at a, another person on the bridge. Casey as well. I have to say, Commander, that ship is very powerful, able to take four of my vessels out. Logically speaking, you had no chance from the start. Well, you could understand from our position where we had to try. She raises an eyebrow and says, I find your position confusing at best. Lieutenant Cassie, if you'd like to lock out their bridge controls and lock out engineering from controlling the ship too. Understood, Commander. All right, so that task role to lock out ship systems is... Um, we're going to go ahead and make that a... Control security. Uh, we'll go ahead and make it a difficulty three because you have to bypass some of their um, lockouts. Okay. 
But uh, so do I need to buy more threat or or buy more dice or just roll? Uh, it's up to you. I don't know how important this is. Should I use my uh, bold security? You could do. I'll uh, buy one dice then so I can use bold security if I need Okay. To. Nice. Mm. And you actually get a momentum out of it. Perfect. Mm. Just to have a little fun with you guys, I think. Uh, Commander, uh, I've been able to lock out the controls, but the ship's self-destruct sequence has been activated. We have less than five minutes. I see. And she looks over at the person commanding this vessel and she says, I would suggest you disable that auto-destruct unless you don't value the lives of the crew aboard the ship. Are you not taking us in the custody, Commander? I don't appreciate being rushed, and I can't guarantee that I can get everyone off this ship safely within that time frame. Surely, surely your powerful transporter should be able to beam all of us off in the five minutes we have. She looks at this chap, and she's going to make a roll. make a presence command roll kind of lock size with him I'll say what she says before I roll the dice she says um, you don't strike me as a man that would needlessly sacrifice your people are you not fighting for their equality cancel your auto destruct so I can get everyone off this ship safely if you value their lives I value their lives, Commander. But I think this ship is useless to you. Clock is ticking, Commander. I suggest you commence with that beam out. How many people are aboard your ship? Before the firefight, there were 50 of us. After, 43. Are we able to like attempt to stop it yeah is there a way to like hack the to make it like so we can at least attempt to stop the self start there could be a role sounds like an engineering related yeah ask me hmm So, uh, so what are you guys doing? Um, I guess we'd like to roll to, uh, figure out if we can disable the self-destruct ourselves. <clears throat> uh, do you mean try to essentially hack the console and give controls back or, um, yeah, I mean, or could... yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, no, go ahead. You're the engineer. So. You guys can talk amongst each other. You're both in the... I mean, is there a way to, um, I guess, power, or... we, if we can power it down, or if we power down everything that's controlling that self-destruct, or 
but it can't even activate any longer or something. Uh, well, we could attempt to just eject it. I mean, from you know, from what I know of Star Trek, uh, usually when something self-destructs, it what blows the warp core. So you could just try to jettison the thing. I did lock out the controls from everywhere from the bridge, so if we do hack it, there shouldn't be anyone to, like trying to stop us anywhere else. Your commander looks over them and says, um, attempt it. And then she taps her comm badge and she says, um, through to the monarch, prepare to beam the survivors aboard. We could keep the the captain on uh, on the bridge here with us and beam the rest of the crew. She looks over at him and she says, "Yes, he's not going anywhere. Um, he will leave last, along with me." Very well, Commander. Okay, so you guys are trying to eject the core from the bridge. If, is that is that the sense I'm getting? Yep. Okay. Let me let me find a good task roll for you. Um, who is on that ship? Just so I'm I know who's kind of over there. Uh, all the PCs apart from Pratt. Okay. Cool. Ooh, cool. And we brought that. We brought a security NPC, didn't we? Or, or did? He, yeah, he's he's probably there. That Prax gets to do something if needed, or so Prax can do something if needed. Um, I don't even know what I'm looking at. Oh, nope, that's not it. What am I? There it is. What am I looking for? Okay, so I'm going to make this a daring engineering task. I am... Let me count all the things that are not in your favor at the moment to try to get a good difficulty for you. Yep. Have to do that. Have to do that. Can I justify another one? Hmm. Aha. That's how I can justify another one. I'm going to spend two thread. I'm going to make it a difficulty five task. Um, difficulty five, because um, you guys have to basically you have to get you have to um, hack his command codes. You're also doing trying to do it from the bridge. And I spent threat just to um, make it difficult, because why not? I have another idea, actually. Um, the most useful thing we can get from the ship is any ship's log, so perhaps, um, I assume this would be an engineering task, and I have really low engineering, but maybe when DeGrasse gets back, we could attempt to transmit the ship's logs, or like, you know, the information on the ship's computer core back to the Monarch. We could certainly do that. But would that be an engineering task? I could see it being an engineering or possibly a security task as well. Okay. Well, uh, I'll attempt to do that uh, with my security. I mean, you guys could probably try both. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, it, it, the, the mm -hmm. countdown's probably at four minutes now. Yeah, I, I, um, that's, I, I meant... Is in do both, but I'm uh, Casey's going to try the uh, to tra or transmit the computer core to Mon Okay, um, so I'll make that a difficulty to uh, control security task or okay. reason. We'll, we'll throw reason in there too. I reason, or, reason or control. Okay.
Uh, should I, uh, um, out of character here, should I generate uh, any threat for this one? You probably just want to give him one threat for the reroll. Yeah, I agree. All right, I'll do three the dice. one threat for three dice. All right, I am only at five threats. I've been I've been using it. Generally, I don't, but this time, dear God, what is <laughs> up with you and these crits? All these natural ones. All right, you get uh, you're at full momentum at the moment, uh, mostly because of Casey. <laughs> <laughs> um, the uh, the uh, computer that you did this reads as being transmitted to the monarch. Perfect. Now, should I go ahead and do the uh, warp core? Are we doing that still next? Yep. Okay. Um, so I've got daring, engineering, and then... Uh, the... We should probably oh, spend... The difficulty is five, right? Yes. Yeah. So uh, you probably want to roll five dice for this, um, to be mm -hmm. honest, which is going to be six... Um, you have to either spend six total in terms of either momentum or giving the GM threat. If if you have any values, this might be a good time for a determination roll. So, um, I mean, do you want to explain them like what how determination works, or do you want me? Yeah, one sec. Sorry, I'm halfway eating dinner. Um, well, I can. So no, I can explain. So, it. I can, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll explain it real quick. That way you can eat. Um, so you cite a value, um, and you can spend your determination for two auto successes. Essentially, um, it pretty much counts as one extra dice, but that dice counts as rolling a one, which gives you two successes. Okay. Um, so uh, you have to use one of your site, one of your values that you think fits. I'm gonna say waits until the last second, because the clock's coming ticking down. And it, it's and, uh, up to the GM whether or not he accepts it or not. Probably the closest one I've got. Let me let me take a look at your sheets really quick. <clears throat> I wouldn't I wouldn't say wait until the last second until like you are literally seconds away from blowing up. Um but I could see the does not believe in a no win situation as being Okay. The one. If if you were like under the wire here, like you know, but like like you probably have like three and a half minutes until this thing blows. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, I'll say um, does not believe in a win scenario then, and then do I need to click determination? So you would just um, take away the one determination that you'd start the game with. Okay, got it. Okay. Um, if you uh, had the veteran talent, you might you could try to roll a challenge dice. But if you don't have the veteran, you don't have to worry about it. I don't think you did. Uh, okay. You can spend five momentum to roll four dice. Okay. If you want. All right, I've got that. Right, so you guys are down to one momentum. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and roll. Yep, four dice. Oops, I thought it was five, sorry. Uh, so I'll, I'll just ignore the last number. Okay. And then I'll, so it's three, so you, with the determination, you get it. And the uh, warp core ejects from the ship. All right. Uh, 
I have a Commander quick question. Um, would uh, he? I know he had, didn't have focus checks. I don't think he asked. But would computers count for that? So I'm looking at a sheet. Yeah, I'll I'll give him momentum because I did see you rolled it. So I'll give you guys uh, momentum. <clears throat> Uh, Commander Saru, we have had uh, success in ejecting the warp core, which should prevent the self-destruct and, and buy us uh, additional time. She looks over at the guy that was commanding this ship. Very impressive, Commander. Well, we'll be taking you aboard the ship. And I think we'll be taking your ship with us, he says. And he'll stand up very well, shall we? Uh, should we double check to see if uh, the warp core actually disabled the self Unless they, like, made some secret modifications. We could do. I mean, it's it's floating in space. And it's... And that... Well, it's... It, it stopped the... It stopped the destruct sequence. Okay. If, if that's what you're asking. Yeah. She, um... Walks over to where he's standing, she reaches into her belt, and she pulls out a small knife, which is fairly unusual. And she holds it against his side, not stabbing him, obviously. She touches her comm badge. Monarch, please uh, beam us and the rest of the crew off the ship. We're done here. Alright, if we could get that difficulty to transporter roll. Um, all right, if I spend a momentum for a third dice for the, um, uh... yep. And focus in transporters slash replicators. Yep. Then you get it back and then just need the ship. I don't think the ship's got a single hit so far. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> Man, who started this ship? <laughs> Starfleet Corps of Engineers can take this one back. <laughs> Are you asking for a new ship already? <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, uh, you guys are being back to the ship. In the transporter room. <clears throat> so the grass is going to go. Well, that was successful. Good thing everybody made it out of there in one piece. Commander looks to the um, the crew members who beamed off the pad. Says, uh, "Resume your station." Understood, Commander. Understood. Understood. And Degrass uh, will make his way to the bridge. Uh, door swoosh, there you are. And all that's left in the pad is really the commander and the captain of the other ship as the waiting security members took the other two to the brig. So it's just the commander and the transporter chief. 
he will escort the uh, the other captain to the brig. All right. Any type of dialogue anyone wants to do in the meantime. Uh, I guess DeGrasse will uh, just uh, offer a nice little compliments uh, to everybody as we're walking back to the bridge. And just say, yeah, that... That could have gone a lot worse than it actually did. Omox joyfully pats the grass on the butt. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, the grass is going to stiffen up a little bit. And uh, for now, act like he... Uh, didn't uh, didn't notice it. Act like nothing went on, and just uh, <laughs> continue walking stiffly back to the bridge. Uh, moments pass, and a rather uncomfortable uh, turbo lift ride. You guys eventually <laughs> get to. <laughs> Get to the fridge. <laughs> uh, the grass is going to step off of the turbo lift and uh, walk briskly back to a science station. Just kind of eyeing Omox as uh, Omox walks back to his. I have no idea which ones are your tokens on the bridge. More importantly, I have no idea which stations are which. Hmm. That one's engineering. Uh -huh. That one's science. That one's tactical. Cool. And then you got art, helm. Yep. And that secondary tactical. Yeah, I don't, I've only ever seen the bridge layout in the movies, and I wasn't <laughs> really paying attention to which one was which. Because, <laughs> you know, the Borg. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so there could be events on the bridge. There could be events in the brig. There could even be events in the sick bay. Welcome back, gentlemen. Commander. Like to put in a good word for uh, Omox over there. Uh, good, uh, good hacking, good ejection of the of the warp core. Potentially save the entire ship. Good suggestions from Degras. Commander, do we know? if we're going to run into other events like this in the future, how many of these Terra Nova can there actually be? Well, it's, uh, it's hard to say, uh, Lieutenant. Um, to be honest, the only time can tell on that. Um, hopefully we can put it into this uh, swiftly, but... I believe Commander Silru is uh, on that. Um, speaking of which, um, where is she? Uh, she's uh, in the brig, Commander. Yes. As well, the uh, the computer logs that I transmitted from uh, the Terra Nova vessel should give us at least some insight as to the size and uh, strength of their uh, their terrorist organization. Oh, excellent. Um, you could please uh, get on that and uh, 
go in order, tap anyone that you need. Um, that's definitely top priority. Understood, Commander. Uh, who was it that had a focus in computer? Uh, that would be me. Uh, I'll take the grass uh, with me then, and we'll try and decode it if uh, you would. So, would love to help, Casey. Ah, crud. Crap that Captain Grennan didn't post his log yet. A lot, some of the info might have been in that might have been useful. Boo. I, mean, I guess uh, Casey will go to one of the back consoles because that's what they always do when they're looking at information. <laughs> uh, DeGrasse will uh, cross the bridge to uh, to join Casey. And uh, just gonna page down to sickbay again. Praxis. Uh, I hate to bug you, Doctor, but uh, can I get an update? Actually, wreck on that because it, it might be in surgery or something. And I'm thinking time wise, it's like only been like five or ten minutes. So wait, did you page sickbay, or you scratched that order? I scratched it because I'm realizing, like time-wise, it's too soon. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, that was helpful. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it it kind of works out because uh the uh the uh, medical officer was about to chew the commander out for interrupting. <laughs> but I was muted. Andy nixed it. <laughs> uh, Commander? While Casey and I work on this, um, it might be helpful to uh, page Saru and uh, see what's going down See what's going on down in the brig. I'm about to head that way myself. Uh, I just wanted to go over a few things here real quick before I head down. Of course. All uh, right. Well, Mox, um, any notable damage? I know we took a little bit of a hit there um, to the ship. Um, should I, <clears throat> before I do like a regenerate shield or anything like that, is there a is there a sensor task or something that I need to run against the computer to confirm what I need to do? Um, for some reason, I think there might be a damage report task, but I don't recall. Uh, there is. I definitely, like, it's hardly ever used, so I definitely don't know what the role is for that. Ah, oh, um, damage control. It's on, yeah. Uh, that's damage control. That's not damage report. Oh, damage report. Um, this is a insight command assisted by the ship's comm and engineering difficulty one. If you succeed at the task... You reduce the difficulty of one task to repair by one. And you can affect a tis additional task um, per momentum spent. Or reduce the difficulty for two momentum. All right, so I have uh, Insight Command. Then... 
That is definitely one that is not used often. Um, should I do anything extra with it or just go ahead and roll that? I would just flat out roll it. That's what, communications engineering? Yep. Now the ship hits. <laughs> uh, who rolled that one? All marks. All right, perfect. Uh, that's probably a horrible spelling job off from me, but it, I think it gets the point across. Looks good to me. Engineering is reporting minor damage to the weapon systems. They should be fully repaired momentarily. Oh, oh excellent news. Uh, the Ten Omnox, uh, I believe you're the only one that's not currently busy. Um, you have the con, and she's going to head towards the turbo lift to go to the brick. All right. Uh, we'll leave everyone on the bridge doing their thing. Um, if Saru would like to do anything in the brig before anyone else gets there. Um, she will... She goes to put this, this guy um, in the bridge and she stops. She turns him around to look at him And she says, You strike me as the kind of man who... Being in command is a bit more savvy than your mate in the brig. Perhaps if you were to assist me gathering some information on your group, I could see to it you were dealt with leniently. Roll me a uh, presence command, and I'll make this an opposed check. Okay. Uh, who the hell am I going to use as a character, though? Because I didn't actually make one up. Uh, this, this sheet works. This one works. Give you a threat for an extra dice. Why not? I'll use the threat you gave me to let him roll an extra dice. What kind of leniency are we talking about? The difference between spending your time in a Federation prison for the foreseeable future and spending your time in a Federation prison for a shorter threat. So my Depending. options are a long prison sentence or a short prison sentence. Depending on what information you can give me, perhaps I can influence things a little bit more. And he, he's, he's just kind of thinking for a moment. Do you really want to spend the rest of your natural life doing maintenance tasks in a Federation prison? Do you resolve your cause honestly that strong? Or do you rather have your freedom? I might be willing to let you in on what I know. But I expect full leniency. And tell me, this information that you know, is it worth such an exchange? 
Oh, I think it is, Commander. She goes over to one of the uh, tables that must be in here, and she points at the chair. Sit. Yeah, one second, I gotta find this. Uh, scrolling through chat logs to find the information I need is not <laughs> fun. <laughs> Oh, come on, Altera. There has to be more than that. <laughs> I thought you posted more than that. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Nope, that's not it. I'm just trying to say consistent with what he established. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but unfortunately, I can't find it at the moment. And unfortunately, Grenner was kind of busy this week, so he didn't get a chance to get his log up. Looks like I'm just going to have to wing it and hope I remembered correctly. All I can really tell you, Commander, is that we have discovered a type of crystal. That offers extraordinary powers. Define powers. Latinum made out of thin air. The ability to alter people's minds with nothing but a thought. Where are you going to take the captain? The captain was never really our target. Where are you going to take this ship? This ship was supposed to serve us and our attempts to break away from Earth from the Federation. Fortunately, it seems we underestimated the power of such a vessel. What were your orders when you got your hands on this ship and were in control? Don't hold it out on me. My patience is not infinite. And she kind of leans across the table in a very un-Vulcan fashion. Go ahead and give me another presence command roll. Okay. Let's 
So, uh, so it's a tie, so... Could potentially do a succeed at cost here. I will take that. Well, Commander, I don't want to truly betray my organization. But I will give you my command codes, and you can try to find the information yourself. Very well. Straightens up and looks at him. Says, "We can cooperate. It's so nice when we cooperate. This is what you'll do. You'll implicate one of your crew as being the true person in charge. You will say they manipulated you, perhaps threatening your family or some such." And she kind of waves with her hand in a very dismissive way. Perhaps your family are being and you're, you're the face of the organization. Point the finger at this person. They'll go down far harder than you will. Make it convincing. Perhaps they'll pardon you. You know, Commander, I think I have just the person. If you have a pad... She goes over to the desk, she picks up one of the pads. She keys in her command like a code to isolate it from the ship. She's not an idiot. And she hands the pad over to him. And he gets to work on typing up that that uh confession. <coughs> she'll observe him typing, um and she'll just watch while he types the confession out. Yep. And it's exactly what you've drawn up, it implicates a lower-ranking member of the bridge as the true mastermind, <laughs> list, list family, blah, 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 blah. Okay. And at the end is his command codes. He takes... And he passes it back to you. I believe that is what you are looking for. Thank you. Now, if you'd be so good, and she points over to the whole, one of the holding cells. And he'll walk over it, and I think at this moment would be a good time for the commander to walk in. Commander Srul, uh, um... How's your investigation going? Born fruit, she says, and she hands the uh, acting captain the pad. He was most cooperative. I think he saw that um, attempting to resist us was useless. Turns out he was a pawn, she says. I see. Uh, and what is your name? Ah, oh, you're making me a random name generator. Aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got to be a human name, doesn't it? Oop, that's not the site. Go back. Do, do, do a human. Those do not look like human names. Dear God. Sure, let's just look at a book and take one. <laughs> Uh, 
Why my name is here we go. My name is Carl Fisher. Well, Mr. Fisher, I do appreciate uh, you being very cooperative in this manner. Commander My didn't give me much of a choice. My question is, why did you kidnap uh, Captain Zavos? Or Zovas. Zovas, yeah. Wasn't so much about your captain. It's more about the ship. I see. Commander Sewell, can I see you for a moment in private? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, so, uh, Prax leads Commander Sewell uh, to an area where they can't be overheard. Mm hmm. Wow, that's an old looking. Old. <laughs> yes, it is. The refit. What is wrong with it? <laughs> We've gone back the, in uh, time. The, the, <laughs> it's the unfurnished section of the ship. I think I'm starting to see why the ship was screwing rolls up. They they cut costs here. <laughs> it's, it's the bowels of the ship. <laughs> Man, I our actually, budget is really poor. I know. I, I actually there's like nothing else but that. The Dominion War really did a number on yeah, that's... their <laughs> God, that's, uh... I'll, I'll have to find a corner picture, I guess. <laughs> it's hilarious, though. <clears throat> Commander Russell, do you think they could be potentially after the captain's command codes? She places her hands at the small of her back. Um, she looks over at the acting captain. She says uh, their objective was to acquire the ship. Um, I don't know if they already have his command codes or not. He did say. They did, however, mention something about their group has come across a crystal type um, that, if he is to be believed, gives them a number of interesting abilities and advantages. Um, it's all in the confession that he typed out on the pad. I would perhaps recommend that we change the command codes of this ship, just in case. Um, I'll need a another, or another authorized uh, officer on this one. Uh, computer, deactivate uh, Captain... I remember his first name. Uh, Zavos command codes authorization prax sigma five two seven. Hopefully that will be enough at least uh, in case there's any saboteurs on board. And she nods at that. I believe we were able to beam over, which are currently be held. Was it 43 or 47? Of the crew. 43. Yeah, 43. Uh, interrogate, oh, not interrogate, poor word, uh, and question the rest of his senior staff, see if we can not verify, uh, their objective. Uh, currently I have Lieutenant, um, Casey, and, uh, I believe Lieutenant, uh, DeGrasse are currently looking into those logs, uh, mm. but 
keep me informed. I'll be on the bri- I'll be on the bridge in, my, in the ready room. As you say, sir. At the end of the confession are his command codes. They could be useful for those trying to get into. Uh, yes, X. I'll uh, pass that to Lieutenant Casey as he conducts his uh, investigation. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Let's thought for a moment. No, sir. Leave this with me. I'll get the job done. Very well. Uh, just keep me informed. Sir? And Prax heads back to the bridge. Uh, Lieutenant Casey, um, and uh, she looks at the pad. Uh, I'm transferring some data over to you. Um, these are the command codes of the captain of that vessel. They should help you in your investigation here. Impressive. Thank you very much, Commander. Um, I will be in the captain's ready room. Um, contacting Starfleet for information on this Terra Nova group and see what they have found out. Understood, ma'am. We'll keep you updated. Thank you, Lieutenant. Tanamox, you still have the con. Yes, Commander. Um, Also, set a course for the nearest starbase. Uh... Let's bring that uh, vessel in tow. All right, how do I do? I go ahead. How, how do I do that? How do I just do? I just do a you no, know, just an order to someone to set that course. Uh, so go ahead, uh, please go ahead and set the course to the starbase uh, and engage. Very well, Lieutenant. And they engage warp, which I have sounds for. That's cool. (laughs) All right. So where do you guys want to go from here? Well, uh, Um, go ahead. So, um, no, so no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you guys right now about that information. Um, I need to wait to get the whole thing with that. So I'm just going to say now it's going to take a bit for you to truly decipher everything. Okay. So, so like, I don't want you guys to waste time on it because I, I, I'm waiting to, to get all the details from Tuesday's episode still. If that makes sense. So, yeah. To, so, uh, to be continued on that front. So, mm-hmm. should we like uh, do other tasks and just say that we're working on that in spare time? It, it, w- it would just be like for role play purposes. It'd be like it's taking longer to crack into this, but we'll keep working on it. Right. Something like that. As you can tell, you, you did something I was not expecting you guys to do. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Prax will be contacting uh, Starfleet Command. Okay. Uh, we could role play something out. Uh, you'll get um. You'll get an admiral at, at Starfleet Command. What can I do for you, Commander? Uh, admiral, I just wanted to inform you of the situation with the Monarch. Um, Captain Zavros was uh, his shuttle um, was uh, destroyed, and he was captured by a rogue or a terrorist group known as Terra Nova. Um, we did successfully rescue him and captured and have one of the vessels of theirs in tow, but two of them got away. Um, we're currently en route to the nearest starbase, um, where we will uh... Sorry, I'm trying to think I'm phrasing, I'm a little tired. <laughs> you, um, we both are. <laughs> <laughs> Where we will hand over the crew uh, or the Terra Nova prisoners um, to release in the custody of that starbase. Excuse um, me, Commander. Invest Did you say Terra Nova? Yes, sir. You're certain of this? I am 100% positive on the matter. Have they, uh, have they revealed any information to you? Very little, but I do not wish to discuss this over an open comm channel. Very good, Commander. The security briefings we have, you have undertaken have served you well. Do, can I do an insight check? Like, is he, is this a human animal or is he like kind of playing me or something? No, it's, it's, it's a human. Okay. Yeah, but it's like, I'm being a little bit paranoid here, but is, is like she read a little bit more into this, like. It's, it's more of a, you get the sense that it's more of a, um, she hasn't heard the name in a long time type things. Okay. Uh, currently, Captain uh, Zavos is in surgery. His wounds were uh, very or serious from the last uh, Dr. Anderson informed me of. That's troubling. How did they know one of our captain's routes flight path flight um, paths i should say i don't think we found that out correct mm -hmm. um a commander srul or uh, sorry srul uh rated a base uh, a few days ago uh, back on Earth and then they received the plans there but as to pertain who got the plans we we do not know at this time or the uh, captain's uh, course that is troubling information commander I wonder if uh, we have been infiltrated by this organization um, I have taken a security portion on this vessel and have locked out uh, Captain Zavos' uh, command codes until he is recovered. Very good, Commander. Write up a report and send it to me. I need to check something. Uh, understood. And uh, the Admiral closes the comp channel. She just uh, sits back a little bit in the chair, takes a deep breath. And then heads back into the bridge. Uh, 
the door swoosh. Lieutenant, report. Uh, Commander, everything. <clears throat> Ever, uh, we are on the way to the star base now. Uh, never, everything is good on the bridge. Very good. Um, you can uh, take your station. Thank you. Uh, Time-wise, how long has it been? I think it's time we cut to sick bay. <clears throat> because I think it's time for you to activate one of your crew supports. Um, probably your doctor. Uh, what kind of test do I want to make this? I do have to make this extremely difficult. Um, so the injuries sustained at a to the captain was a direct phaser burn to the chest. Um, and obviously it's caused a lot of damage because the suspicion is that it was set to kill. So I am going to make this a difficulty seven extended task. Um, the magnitude is going to be five. Uh, work track, I'm going to say, is going to make it a 20. And resistance will throw it a good old 3. Difficulty 7? Dear God. <laughs> this will really this ruin... Yeah, this, this, was, uh, this is... Uh, I definitely do not want you to succeed at this task. <clears throat> Captain's dead. <laughs> but uh, you have yeah, sick bay, you have support characters. Possible. So the sick bay. I don't know, it's a supporting character. I don't even know if she. Well, she is the CMO, but. Does she get that advantage? I don't think so. Because I think it's for players. It's not a play yeah, it is a, for a player character. Okay, so we can't lower the difficulty. There are other ways to do that, though. Um, well, I'm gonna try, because I, I definitely <laughs> know I, I threw a wrench at you by saving the keeping the captain out that way. Yeah, let me just type this out so I make sure I get it straight. So, difficulty seven extended task. Uh, what did I say? Magnitude five. Work track 20, resist 3. I think that's what I said. If not, it's close enough. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, in the science book, page 52. Uh, there's a device called it's um, the Sterofield, which uh, essentially it's built in all the, the modern sick base. So whenever it essentially keeps you know removing dirt, bacteria, viruses, and contaminants out of the you know from contaminating while doing surgery. Uh, that's only to avoid infections. So 
So it only goes in play if you ever want if you want to throw a wrench. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <coughs> He's trying. You are trying to make it. There's no broken bones. But now everyone gets now to see what an first... extended task is. Yeah. Something tells me I should probably. Something tells me I should probably add a timed interval to this as well. Yeah, which means I only have five attempts. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, let, let, let's do that. Let's do that. I don't. I don't want you to try this forever. I don't want you to have forever. We'll throw five. We'll throw um. Uh, we'll give you a time limit of five tasks to do this. before the injuries are too great. See, he's on a bio bed. Yeah, she doesn't have any termination. So uh, the only thing is it's, there's no opportunity cost for this. So um, I'm going to put a cardio stimulator. So now it's only in combat. Can't do that. Oh, damn it. There, uh, there's nothing, apparently, other than the stereo field. <coughs> oh, sorry. Presser field. Yes. There we go. That was what I was looking for. So it's not an opportunity cost, but the pressure field, um, which is on 52, I don't know why I missed it. Um, the device is available in every modern sick bay and hospital generates a weak force field that can be precisely calibrated and directed so that the force field applies uh, pressure during surgery. Um, it is often used to temporarily stop bleeding until blood vessels can be repaired and in other situations when um, precise gentle pressure is needed. So I'm assuming this applies because it's a surgery. Okay. Um, with the pressure field, the physician who uses the pressure field during surgery may re-roll 1d20. That works for me. All right, what roll is Amelia doing? Oh. Um, let me check her stats, because I might, I might weigh this further in my favor. It probably has to be controlled medicine as much as I want to make it daring. It probably has, probably has to be controlled medicine. Okay. Um, surgery for a focus? Yep. <clears throat> All right. Oh, I'm going gonna, uh, gonna to hate myself for this. So um, take four threat <laughs> and... Um, spending two momentum to roll five dice. I'm going to spend two of that to make the complication range two. All right. Two, three, four, five, six. So you get a momentum back. You have succeeded. You have succeeded at the first task. Please roll me it's, uh, six challenge dice. And I'm assuming you don't want to re-roll. No. I'm definitely re-rolling four of those. All right, so that's a momentum. Do that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So uh, resistance is three, so you're doing three work at the moment. Okay. Um... One for breakthrough. All right, no, sorry, piercing. Sorry, to get a breakthrough. All right.
Do, 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 do. Where is my extended task page? Because you enlightened me to yeah. all of these um, new things I get to play with. So you you can uh, if you really want to be mean, you could you could spend two threat and uh, I lose four on the work track after this. So give the captain a chance. He's a good man. <laughs> well, th th this is Amelia. So. <laughs> <laughs> Poor, poor Amelia is uh, going to be going through a, a rough time. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to trying to see where you is from. There's never anything really in the extended task. Is that in the Game Master's section of the book? Yeah, it's in the Game Master's section. Uh, there's two things you can kind of really only do. It's two threat to um, add two resistance, and then it's two threat to essentially, um, after the roll has been done, you can then take four work away. But there's still technically they get the breakthrough. Right. Yeah, let's do that second option. So I'll give you the breakthrough, but you're going to add back. So you do five work to get the breakthrough, and then four of it goes back with the two threat? Yeah, uh, you just spend two threat. It goes back. So technically, only one work has been done. So we go, yeah, to 19. Or, well, down to 19. Mm-hmm. So, but now it's difficulty four. Yeah. Uh, take three threat. Okay. And then I'm going to spend two of that threat to, include, to keep the complication range at two. Yeah, um, yeah, just take the complication, or well, not, yep. or just use it. So as, anyway. yep. So as the uh, as the doctor is trying to um, to uh, repair the damage from the phaser, um, the captain goes into cardiac arrest. I will give you one oper one roll, in order to try to stabilize the cardiac event. I'll give you a difficulty five task, complication range of three. So uh, going, she's gonna add the cardio stimulator, mm -hmm. uh, which just gives a free reroll. And so, what's the roll again? Uh, this one has to be daring medicine. Because she yeah. like like now she's trying so daring medicine difficulty five complication three. <clears throat> medicine. Oh, uh, well, well, sorry. What was that? Uh, emergency medicine for a focus. Yep. I'm gonna eat myself. Um. You really statted her out well. I did. Uh, I haven't played a doctor before. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, take four threat, and I'm gonna spend two momentum, and or at least the last of the momentum. All right. Um, since since you're giving me all this moment, this all this threat, uh, let's go full complication. All right. <laughs> I gotta use it. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's payback. <laughs> Well, nope. And she has no values, no determination, so. So as, so she's trying, she's trying to re to stop the cardiac events and it just, it just spreads and you just hear that 
telltale sign of of just a beep. So I don't know what kind of role, but she's gonna play. Uh, oh, wait, I can't do it. Well, I actually no, I can't. So uh, she's gonna play a cortical simulator. It's opportunity cost of one, which I have to give you a threat for that um, to use the cortical um, cortical stimulator. Okay. If you allow it, and she's gonna attempt to try and revive him. Dramatic flare. <laughs> Uh, what is the role? Uh, cortical stimulator, huh? At this point. <laughs> it's, this is a last dish effort, effort <laughs> so come on. Hmm. <laughs> well, since I gave you a difficulty five, I think it has to go higher than that at this point. Um. Seven. You know what? Screw it. Take, uh, take six, right? <laughs> Just do it. Six strand. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend, I'm gonna spend that six plus four more. And keep the complication range at five. Uh, <laughs> emergency medicine. Yep. All right. He's gonna end up a zombie. Are you not entertained? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I think that's a, a good thing one of the nurses is going to say. <laughs> Doctor, he's gone. <laughs> Don't give up on me. And uh, <laughs> she starts uh, applying CPR manually. Doctor, there's too much damage. Doctor, brain death has occurred. And uh, she she walks away. Computer, note in the log. Time of death of Captain Zavos, start date 53906.8. And then the doctor is going to come up to Commander Prax. And am I really RP this with, against myself? <laughs> yeah. I want to uh, hear it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yes, <please. laughs> you've, you've been challenged, Commander. <laughs> oh... Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Commander Prax, um, I read to inform you that <laughs> Captain... I'm trying not to laugh here. I'm sorry. <laughs> that Captain Zavos has uh, passed away. That's most regrettable, Doctor. Um, I'll be down shortly. Prax out. Alright, I did it. Alright? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> It would help if I was um, unmuted. Um, is there anything else anyone would like to do before we go to practice in sick bay? Um, I think I'm good. I got nothing. I'm good. All righty then. Prax in sick bay. Uh, the 
Doctor? I'm sorry, Commander. I'm, I'm sure you tried everything you could. And she just shakes her head. There was just too much damage. Uh, very well. Uh, I will uh, notify uh, next of kin. It's always tough when you have to, uh, when you can't save them. Indeed it is. Ooh, uh, hold on really quick. Uh, my soccer signer is actually trying to call me. Hold on.
sorry, all the soccer game cancellations um, has uh, caused my referee assigner to kind of have a mild freak out. So she's trying to see where she could use people. So sorry about that, but. <laughs> I might not have needed the minute. Sniffles. There's a lot to absorb. Yeah, we needed the. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Um. So where were we? The doctor just gave the bad news to Prax in sickbay. Ah, uh, yes. It's unfortunate that she wanted to call me right in the middle of that scene. So, Commander, what are we going to do about the command of the ship? Well, I'm still uh, acting captain right now, Doctor. Um, but that decision is up to Starfleet. Um, I'll need to report this to them uh, right away. Very well. We will uh, prepare the body for a ceremony. I'm sure you would want to... Um, She just, she just kind of sighs. Want to, um, uh, want to Prax, have for him. Prax puts her uh, hand on Dr. Amelia's shoulder. Of course, doctor. Uh, we're all going to need some time to grieve on this. Uh, and she just kind of wipes a tear from her eye. If you'll excuse me, Commander. Of course. And, uh... It's time for Yo-Yo. Uh, practice heading back to the bridge and to the ready room. Computer, uh, open a channel to... Starfleet Command. Channel open. Admiral, uh, sorry to bug you, but I felt it important to inform you that uh, Captain Zavos has passed away. <sighs> That's uh, it's not the news I was hoping for, Commander. We're short on captains as it is. Uh, yes, Admiral, it's, it's most ungrateful I've known uh, Captain Zephos for a long time. He was a good friend and mentor. He was a fine officer. Do you have any orders for me, Admiral? Uh, yes, Commander. Um, I believe your previous assignment was to head to Deep Space Nine. I think uh, I think you should continue on that course. Uh, we'll let you know about any changes in command upon your arrival. Understood. But for now, you are acting captain of the monarch. Uh, very well. Prax out. And the channel closes. Prax returns to the bridge. Literally yo-yo. Yeah, literally yo-yo. <clears throat> Ensign uh, Bassan, please uh, alter our... We're still heading to DS9, right? Or was it the nearest starbase? Uh, they just put nearest starbase. 
Yeah, but I don't think DS9 is the nearest. So. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I don't uh, think so either. I am consulting the map. The pretty map you are in the process of making? Yeah, actually, 621 is the nearest. Um. It also depends on where we were at, so... It sounds good. Yeah. Uh, and to alter our course, uh, we are to resume our, our original course uh, back to Deep Space Nine. Yes, Commander. Altering course. Maximum cruising speed. And she adjusts his course. We're on course for Deep Space Nine, Commander. Very good. Uh, she comes down to Commander uh, Cyril. Mm -hmm. Commander Cyril. Um, can you report onto the bridge, please? On my way. That. Commander, as the other ranking officer aboard this vessel, I am willing to inform you that Captain Zavos um, passed away um, a short while ago. He looks over at her. I understand. I have already informed uh, Starfleet Command on this. Uh, in the meantime, I am still to remain acting captain. Um, until such time, if you do not mind, until uh, you're reassigned, uh, you seem to prove yourself. Would you mind acting as uh, my first officer uh, in the meantime? As you wish, Captain. Very well, um, thank you. Um, how's your investigation coming? She looks over at her. I'm not sure that we'll get a whole lot else out of them. I think we've got the uh, best parts of the information thus far. Very well. Um, believe Lieutenant. Lieutenant Casey and uh, DeGoss are still working on uh, those logs for you. Good. Hopefully there'll be some uh, interesting information in there that might tie all this together. Hopefully so. Uh, she kind of rubs her eyes a little bit. I guess this is the most difficult part. Uh, computer, open a shipwide hail. Uh, we don't have that whistle yet. We do. Oh, we do. Uh, Where is it? Yeah. Must find it. Must find new sounds. Console explosion. Uh, what's it under? Communications. Oh. Attention crew of the USS Monarch. This is Commander uh, Israel Prax. A short while ago, uh, Captain Zavos um, passed away from his room, uh, wounds um, during his capture. Um, it is most regrettable um, on the timing of this incident. Um, we are currently proceeding on course to Deep Space Nine. A memorial service will be held tomorrow at 0900 hours. I know this is not the
I know this has not been easy for any of you. Um, our current engagement with a unknown terrorist group known as Terra Nova has I would just dare say caused a unforeseen circumstance that has become before uh, become upon us. I am sure that Captain Zavos would all one of you to continue your duties um, on board this ship and perform them admirably. Um, that is all. And she closes the com the channel. All right. I think this is probably a good place to bring this episode to a close. Mm. So I will call that the end of the Terra Nova.